Hey, what's up, YouTube? Eric here with White Wolf Gaming, uh, back for episode two of our Let's Play Lotro series. Now, uh, ran into a bit of an issue with episode one, if you managed to watch all of it. <laughs> I know it was kind of lengthy. Um, I ran into a, a hard drive issue, so I had to stop the video and all that good fun jazz. So I've since uh, fixed it, um, and currently that video right now is rendering. Um, so I'm not going to shoot too much right now just for the simple fact that processes are taking up a lot of my RAM. But uh, what I wanted to go ahead and go over at this uh, point in time um, are some of the things that I got right here on the bottom right hand corner of my screen. Now, in Lotro, there is a deed system. Now this deed system, you, uh, you get to earn titles that you can display on your character. You also get to earn certain kinds of uh, skills or, you know, advanced parts of skills that you currently own by doing those multiple times. You also get Slayer Deeds, which help with titles and all that good fun stuff. I'll get into it more when I actually start earning them. Um, right here is your Deed Log. That's going to show you uh, what you've earned and what the progress of you earning one is. Um, for instance, I earned one called, uh, my character's name, Rizona with the wary so basically that means I have reached level 5 without being defeated in battle so basically I haven't gotten killed yet um, now I know there's another secondary to that when you hit level 10 um, I think it's called uh, the undefeated or something along those lines anyway I am uh, here to find the uh, people that have perished in the archit um, onslaught that took place earlier um, I'm not going to bother uh, recording too much of this just for the simple fact that it's a lot of running around and clicking on dead bodies and putting them in the ground, as you will see. Uh, however, there is a uh, boss fight towards the end. I'll go ahead and get back to you on that, and we'll go from there. All right? All right, so one thing I uh, noticed, I just wanted to uh, go over the thing on the bottom right-hand corner here. Uh, this emblem means that I do have mail, um, and it's probably something sent by the uh, server admins concerning uh, certain events that they hold throughout the year, and I think this is the spring festival going on right now. Um, now this little torch looking like thing is that deed I was talking about. Now with the deed stuff, you need to realize uh, how it's going to work out here. Now with it, how I was telling you about the progress bar here. Um, basically, complete quest within Breland. Uh, I do 15 quests. I'm going to get uh, plus one empathy, which is a virtue that you can equip on your character. And your virtues, I want to say, are right here. Well, that's a trait. I think that's the same thing. Yes, I'm pretty sure it is. And you equip traits and all that good fun stuff as you go. And it goes through uh, equip traits. Then you have your virtues. There we go. That's what it was. Haha. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you got certain race ones, class ones, and then legendary. Um, and also you get awarded with uh, turbine points. And when you get awarded with turbine points, that's the currency that you earn in game to use out of game. So basically you get to uh, apply these turbine points to purchasing uh, stuff in the Lotro store and so forth. Um, so in all actuality, you can grind your points, if you will and purchase uh, the the uh, expansion packs and all that good fun stuff so you could in theory grind your points enough to play the game entirely for free I don't know how effective that is um, so <laughs> it's probably honestly better just to uh, go ahead and earn your uh, your VIP access by paying for a subscription now this other emblem here is uh, I have acquired an item that starts a quest when used. Now this is uh, I want to say it was this one right here, outfitting yourself. And so basically, yeah, you can uh, accept quests and so forth. So yeah. It's pretty groovy. You get to uh, earn certain things in the game, and it'll definitely help you out in the future. So, with that, I will see you again when I get to this boss. All right, so we're here at the little uh, minor boss, Iron Nath. 
part of my punctuation, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to take him out. Notice how his uh, emblem's a little different, kind of like a rare, unique monster in another world. item so that's a uh, usually unique I just killed a little rat thing alrighty and so I'm frozen that's awesome that video is still rendering it's gonna take like nine hours um, I'm doing as 1080p on it so it's gonna take some time so uh, yeah there's that um, as you can see on the right here I got some uh, some more items um, let's go ahead and check them out as we go so I want to go take this back to uh, Alti Spider Bane. Uh, that's the head I just got from uh, Iron Ape. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Um, see, I have a new title, uh, Rosanna Spider Foe. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, equip that for now. So we'll make active. That means if any characters click on me or if I walk by them, they'll see this. You know, whatever. It's not that great of a title. I uh, completed the deed, Spider Slayer. Um, got some turbine points for that. It's pretty cool. Um, you can add to a tracker if you like, whatever. It's pretty sweet stuff. I'm going to close that out. Um, oh, and I discovered a new deed. So basically, I kill more spiders and uh, I'll get plus one honor for my traits. Pretty groovy. And this one right here is my congratulations. I've been awarded five turbine points. Cool. Thank you. And I still have that mail. I haven't checked because, yeah, whatever. So rather than try to go through the maze of crap I had to do just to get here, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the return home, provided I don't aggro the spider. And, uh, yeah, turn in the quest. All right, so uh, we just left the Archic Gate, and that's behind me here. And we are now heading into Comb, as you can see. It's... Uh, a little medium sized, oh, actually, I actually wouldn't even say medium, pretty small little town here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty nice. Um, this is where the next set of quests are going to come from here. And uh, from here, I'm going to bring up the map for you. From here, we're going to uh, go into the Chetwood some quests there and then I do believe we go down to Staddle and Breland and uh, start hitting up the marshes and all that good fun stuff so we'll be it we'll be in this general area probably for the next I'd say six to ten levels roughly and we'll be heading out all throughout this area uh, all the way to our 20s um, other than that I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn in some quests that I have, uh, nothing big or major. Uh, if I come across something that I feel is very important, I will start to record. Um, other than that, I won't waste your time with uh, little tidbits here and there. On a note though, um, I am going to be picking up a uh, vocation here soon, which is you know, basically your jobs and everything like that. The person playing the uh, loot. That's something that you can actually do in game. You can purchase a loot and play an instrument. You can also uh so you can just go ahead and get him. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh so there are emotes in this game. If you haven't, you know, you can't tell already. Uh, you can do some things that one thing that you can't do in others. Up the pipe. That's right. She just capped a your ass. Anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, cut back to when uh, picking up a vocation. And there's quite a bit of a uh, game uh, vocations to choose from here. So I'm going to make an 
educated decision here. And once I do, I'll cut you guys in. Just realized one of the quests here is story related, so I'll definitely add that. Hello there. So I'm to uh, go up and speak to somebody. Toradon, I do believe, is one of the rangers. Works with uh, Aragon or Strider, whatever the heck you want to call him. Yeah, he's in this door here. As you can see by the ring up here. Now this is a uh, instanced area. Alrighty, let's talk to him, see what's going on. What can I do for you? I am a hero of Archit. Okay then. Could I speak? So I gotta find Admir wherever he is. So I gotta go with the black holds. All right. So that was uh, one of the story-driven quests. I will definitely record those as I come upon them. And uh, in the meantime, until uh, I get to that actual quest, um, I'll another side note, if you happen to see uh, these glowing little horse stable heads over a person, the stable master in particular, that is because you have not gathered that ride point yet. So you want to be sure to collect that. That way you can travel swiftly between towns and what have you. But uh, since I haven't really discovered much, I don't have very many places I can go to. Um, and considering this is the questing area I need to be in, there's no point in me going in and uh, doing that right now. At least not my opinion. Unless you wanted to go ahead and quest in the, the elf and dwarf area, you know, you can do that if you chose. But I think I'm just going to stick here and breathe it. Alright, so here we are in the crafting hall. Someone any rate <laughs> there's your uh, little in game uh, right there. and the level 16 beat the level 8 go fancy that anyway alright so here in crafting the profession or picking it rather Go ahead and uh, get this quest going, and now we're going to decide a vocation. Since most of my vocations I already have on my other tunes that complement each other, the one I don't have is a yeoman. And I don't know if I pronounced that correctly or not. You know, if you do know how to pronounce it, send me a uh, video reply and we can all help each other out. So with that, you get cook, farmer, and tailor. I think that's going to benefit because I don't have it. You know, and fuck it. So when you do this, you're gonna get the basic skills to track down the, uh, you know, the resources, which in my case would be, uh, I guess, farmland. And with that, I go ahead, and that's an active skill, just like if you were looking for mines and WoW uh, or nodes, whatever you want to call them. Um, and also, you get a basic set of tools. So I got uh, inferior tailor's tools, inferior farming tools, and inferior cooking supplies. Now one of my alts can actually is a metalsmith and whatnot, so he can actually make me better tools, which I'm going to be utilizing here shortly. With better tools, you have better chances for uh, critical success and all that good fun stuff. So uh, with those things mentioned, um, I'm going to go ahead and gather some quests here for the introductions and then show you kind of how the crafting system works I, I will cut back here shortly moment. all right so here we are we're doing the novice cook quest um, go ahead and bring up the uh, skills panel here and we're gonna go to cook apprentice now we gotta go ahead and make our ingredients so we're gonna equip our cooking supplies there we go so we're gonna make some cups of barley flour you see they have animations and all that good stuff. I gotta be next to the big old stove to do it. Uh, cooked food. I need to make hard biscuit for the quest, so that's what I'm gonna make. As you see the ingredients that I need. You can also buy ingredient packs if you're missing uh, ingredients with the turbine points that you collect throughout the game. Which might be helpful, I guess, but you know, you're probably
probably just better off farming it. So I went ahead and made what she asked me to make. She's going to check. Good day. And that's that. So now I'm going to head over to uh, the next part of my introductory quest. If I can pick it up here. I think it's out here. It might not be. Let's see. So they're all out here. Oh, scratch that. So there's the tailor. Greetings, friend. They're going to give me a crate of basic supplies. I'm going to open that. And as you see, there are my supplies. Now I'm to make a rough cloak. I need the workbench to do so. We're going to go over to tailor. Go back to our inventory here. Equip our supplies. I'm going to put those on the toolbar here soon so I don't have to keep doing this. Components. And we are going to make the leather binding. I don't see why I need to be around the table considering somehow, some way, I magically make this big fucking thing come out of my pocket. So there we go. Let's go ahead and look at cloaks. And I made the wrong thing. <laughs> so I need a leather pad, which I should have made here instead of the binding. That's what I get for not paying attention. So I need to go ahead and uh, collect hides to make uh, that cloak. So we're not going to worry too much about that right now. Um, and the last one being the farmer. I don't think you can farm inside. It's common uh, sense, I would imagine. So let's pop out here and see if we can't find this car farm request. As you can see, uh, it has become nighttime. The game goes uh, in daytime and nighttime according. Uh, let's see here. Local time for me is 5.32. Um, so... I guess that's nighttime in Lotro. I haven't really paid much attention to try to figure out oh, if it's every 20 minutes that it sets or or what. I, I particularly don't care that much. Alright, so this one's actually pretty far south. Huh. I don't know if I want to go all the way down there right now because I have quests in this area. So, you basically got the idea of the, qu of the crafting panel, how it works out and stuff like that. Got to be mindful, as I proved, of what you're trying to make to make sure you're making it for the appropriate quest or for yourself, whatever.